So this is going to be a short little video review of the Daisy 426 and the Daisy 15 XT. Um, first up, of course, going to be the velocity using Daisy Precision BBs. And uh, I will shoot the 426 first. And just as a note, these are fresh CO2 cartridges and the first shots from those CO2 cartridges. It's going to be the actual portion portion of the test. Uh, targets at 10 yards. I'm going to shoot 10 BBs from each. Uh, the 426 is going to be on the right. 15 XT is going to be on the left. And of course, I'm shooting the 426 first. So of course I was aiming here. Looks like all of my shots are right in this area here. So it's shooting high.
Well, there's no doubt uh, which one won the velocity and the accuracy. And that'll be the 15 XT. Okay, so I have to redo that one over again because uh, someone forgot to reload the guns. So for the conclusion, uh, if I had to choose one, be this one here on my left hand, the 15XT. Um, 426 is, uh, they tried, but I, I think they failed. Anyway, uh, pros and cons of each one. I'll start with the 426 first. Um, I like the fact that the, the knob to tighten the CO2 cartridges is hidden by a little cover that you pull off. Right there. I think that was pretty nice. Um, I also like the fact that the lock for to load the BBs, you can actually lock the follower in place, whereas with the 15XT you can't. Um, that's pretty much about it as far as the uh, positives for this gun. The negatives on this gun, of course, is um, like the, a lot of daisies, non-adjustable rear sight. Um, I do have white tape on the front to uh, see the front blade, but the notch in the rear is a lot wider on this one, on this gun, than it is the 15 XT. The front blade is also a lot wider than the blade that's on the 15 XT, um, which is why you're able to get better accuracy with the other gun as opposed to this one. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I don't care for the sighting, the, the notch on the rear, how wide it is, how wide that is. I don't care for the little hook on the trigger here. Um, kind of makes you feel like you have a less trigger pull weight, but um, it doesn't really help with accuracy and it feels kind of wide too. Um, for the 15 XT, um, the positives of course is its size, its power, um, it's a reliable tough gun. Um, I like the triggers a little thinner, feels a little thinner, 
and by it, the way it is the blade it kind of gives you the impression that when you're pressing this trigger you're pushing you're pulling straight back as opposed to the other trigger where you it feels like you can pull either left or right um, so that's the advantage um, again the, the sights on this one are a lot better um, especially for shooting targets or distance um, but it does not have a lock for the BB follower which sucks and whereas the 15 the 426 has an actual Picatinny rail for lighting for mounting uh, lights and such the 15 XT does not so um, to get something to fit onto this rail is it's uh, very difficult but fortunately this this uh, stream light uh, uh, light TLR3 did mount up to it um, I also like the way this feels better in the hand um, just has a slim grip 